my anatomy friends. This is a recap of all of Franny's muscles for your cat test. So let's start up here. So we got the clavo trapezius, acromio trapezius, spino trapezius. Underneath the acromio, we have the three pieces here, which are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres major. Don't forget the deltoids. Over here, we've got the clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, and spinodeltoid. Over here, you've got the triceps break eye lateral head and triceps break eye long head. Don't forget the pinna, the vibrissae, the nair, which is the nose hole, the teeth, the tongue, the palate, the paw, and the pads, which are called the torus, remember, on the cat. Going down the back some more here, right below the spinodeltoid, you have the latissimus dorsi, okay? And underneath latissimus dorsi, deeper underneath, then we'll get to the other side, serratus. You've got external oblique, second layer, internal oblique. Deeper third layer would be the transversus abdominis, the deeper third layer there. On the rear of the cat, the dorsal view here, we've got our gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. This little tiny one here, right next to the biceps femoris, is the cotto femoralis, okay? Looking here, you can also see the gastrocnemius, which is right here. On the front of the leg, you have the tibialis anterior. Let me do a little turn over here. And we'll start with, of course, you have the tongue and the palate. We'll start with the neck muscles. So we have digastric here. The triangle one in the middle is myelohyoid. And then going along the side, you have sternomastoid, which goes along the side of both sides of the neck, sternomastoid. Sternohyoid, which goes right across the top of the trachea there. And then masseter which is up along the side of the jaw, that's the chewing muscle. As far as the pecs go, we have the pectoantibrachialis. That's the one that runs straight across the top, and then pectoralis major, and then pectoralis minor, the next one down, and then the dark one here at the bottom, that one's xiphohumeralis. Okay, working your way over. On the side, as I mentioned earlier, you have serratus. Serratus is the one here that makes a bit of a fan underneath the um, armpit, shoulder blade. And then, of course, the flap is latissimus dorsi. Right along the middle, you have rectus abdominis. That's the one that covers the middle of the stomach there, the middle of the belly. Leg muscles. The top two on the legs, we have sartorius on the outside and gracilis on the inside. And then if you reflect sartorius back on this side here, you'll see tensor fascia latae, vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, and vastus medialis toward the middle. Reflecting the gracilis back and out of the way, starting from the bottom, you have semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor longus, and then, sorry, uh, adductor femoris and adductor longus. It's a little bit darker there and toward the top. Okay. And then also don't forget here you have the gastrocnemius and the tibialis anterior along the front. Let's talk quickly about the internal organs. Here we have the trachea, as you can see. Right below the trachea, we have the esophagus. Let me see if I can. There it is, right below the trachea tube. Of course, then you have the um, heart and the lungs on either side of the heart. You have the diaphragm muscle right here, and then you have, that's the diaphragm muscle right here. You have the liver. You have the gallbladder, which is normally appearing to be green. Let me see if you'll get a good look at it here, maybe from this other side, this other angle. On mine, the gallbladder is actually not green. It's this little sac right here. That's the gallbladder. 
Um, right next to it here, you have all of this stuff, remember, which is the greater omentum. Follow that along, you ought to find the stomach. Stomach right here, okay, liver, stomach, greater omentum. Below the greater omentum here, you have the spleen, the shiny one. And then right below it all, let me see if I can get you to be able to see the pancreas. Pancreas is this area right here that's very marbled looking in comparison to the spleen. Hang on a minute, let me get a better view. It's actually right here. That's the pancreas. Looks a little more like chopped ground beef as opposed to the spleen, which is more shiny, almost more like steak. This one, um, this is all the small intestine, and between it you have what's called the mesentery. Okay. Over here to the side, on either side, you have kidneys. So on this particular cat, the kidney is, hang on a second, right here, that's the kidney, okay? Remove the small intestine out of the way, and underneath it, you should find the large intestine, which is this part right here, okay? Following it down, the bladder. Right in the middle here, that's the urinary bladder. Um, this cat's a female, but the female anatomy's been removed since it's been spayed. So you won't have that to look at. But that's about it. That'll at least get you some to practice on. Good luck for any wishes you all well on your practical.